next question, um, given what we've just talked about the success of organizations, what's your view on the effectiveness of organizations in life assurance industry? Okay, you are careful to say life insurance industry, so I will restrict to that. I, I think okay. effectiveness must be measured against its purpose. Yeah, uh, if, if the purpose of a, of a listed company in Asia is to maximize shareholder value, uh, then it must be measured uh, according to that. Then the debate is whether it's for a short term or long term. Uh, but very few companies uh, would directly claim that now. Uh, especially after the global financial crisis, that they would like to widen uh, stakeholder management and they would have some declarations on sustainability and so forth. Uh, so they will say the stakeholder management. Uh, so then it must be measured against the metrics. Uh, I would look at two or three things yeah, about effectiveness. Uh, at the highest level, what is the purpose of the life insurance industry? Right? Uh, the life insurance industry, whether you are a life uh, listed company, or a mutual or a trade union cooperative, your purpose must be to give products uh, which meet the needs uh, of your customers, needs of customers. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking for value for money, uh, yeah, and transparency mm -hmm. and cost effectiveness. I, mm. I think the results are very mixed. Uh, results are many mixed. I, I, I spoke to a, a senior regulator recently and that person was unhappy uh, with the state of uh, uh, insurance products or even banking products. Things are just too opaque, mm -hmm. uh, and too complicated. Uh, what 95% of our customer needs are simple products which are value for money. Uh, but somehow our products are opaque uh, and, uh, and they're not uh, simple and they're not necessarily value for money. And I've seen recent legislation to even restrict the cost lower for certain CPF products in Singapore. So we have an uh, issue, but I do not want to be over critical. I think there's still good work done in the life insurance industry because products, long-term products are difficult uh, to persuade people to, to buy. Uh, mm. uh, and you need financial advisors uh, and you need um, agents uh, to go out uh, to enroll uh, customers so that they will plan for the future. Uh, but we've got to be careful because sometimes we are competing for the best agents rather than competing for our customers. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I do see there is some degree of shortcomings because what we have is uh, uh, freedom of competition. Freedom of competition, but with caveat mTOR, which means that companies can have any products they want as long as they disclose. Uh, but for the last 30 or 40 years, I have not seen our disclosure regime working well. Our disclosure are getting illustrations or benefit illustrations or even banking products. Even for private banks, the disclosure can run into tens and 20 pages of paper, but yeah. it's not really understood. So we leave the, the rich customers aside, the, the, the sophisticated customers aside, but 95% of our customers are not that sophisticated. What they need is simple products, simple products, mm -hmm. diversified products, regular investing for the next 10, 20, 30 years. We must come with a system which meet that need. Uh, I mm -hmm. do not sense that, uh, that we are maximizing our ability to do so. Uh, uh, but I would say that it is still better uh, to have some traditional with profits, endowments, and regular single premium plans, although you can find cheaper ones, then not to have it at all. Uh, because I think long-term savings is still an important one. But somehow in the mix, uh, we must find the balance between simple diversified products, uh, value for money products, easily understood, which generally serve customers and saying that our customer service uh, is good. Let me ask you, Bryce, uh, who... Who, who could really claim outstanding customer service, outstanding customer service uh, in insurance in Asia? Yeah, I, I believe that uh, some agents are outstandingly good in serving their clients. Uh, that is different mm. from outstanding service by the insurer uh, to their customer. Mm. Uh, I think there is a great room for improvement. Uh, but I wouldn't... Uh, so I think the results are very mixed. Our results are very mm. mixed. Uh, 
and there's still work to do. There's still a lot of work to do uh, to give value for money, outstanding customer experience, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and, 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 and simplicity because there's just too much information asymmetry in our products, which means that our customers don't really know how it works. 